This year, the Underwriters Laboratory, or UL, released their Blue Card program, a certification for additive manufacturing materials. Now, what does this mean for you or your business? Uh, could this be a game changer for commercial 3D printing? Let's find out. So what is the UL Blue Card? The UL Blue Card program isn't actually a real blue card that you hold around on you, as cool as that would be, but no, it's actually a new type of material data sheet used by UL to certify material properties of specific additive plastics by the brand. So the Blue Card is essentially a data sheet that UL uses, and they're an extension of the existing yellow card system that they've used for plastics in general for many years now. So blue card properties currently include things like the UL94 flame class, the uh, hot wire ignition, which is resistance to ignition of plastics from heated wires, uh, the dielectric strength, which determines the dielectric breakdown of insulative materials, inclined plane tracking, recommended layer thickness, recommended post-processing methods, and other things like that. So why this doesn't mean anything to you right now? Basically, this blue card system is not something that really means anything substantial as of early 2021. And that's because of two factors. UL currently has very few filaments under their blue card system. And secondly, UL certification doesn't actually deem a material as official. When it comes to third-party certification systems, uh, they're essentially a great long-term play for building public confidence in the things that they do certify, but it they also often raise the price on materials without genuinely making the material official. Now, I, th I think we've really got a few years to go before this really takes on, but what does this mean for you? The blue card system does not degrade or demote the quality of filaments that you currently have on hand at all. Don't be worried, this is simply a third party move to make more money off filament certifications. Uh, now, it will have benefits in the future, but what about the certifications for the variety, the huge variety of materials out there, uh, like the PEAKs and the CFHDNs and the PVDFs of the world? Most likely, a lot of these won't get UL Blue Card certifications for a long time, since they're so niche in 3D printing, and it's, you know, it's more about making money right now, so manufacturers actually have to pay for the certification of their material. Now, as the blue card becomes more well known over the next five or ten years, we'll probably see a lot more of it used. Uh, and it can be tempting to make purchasing decisions off of certifications like this. And UL is a really well established entity. However, given the limited nature of the blue card program right now, as of making this video, we do not currently recommend our customers use the blue card program to make any purchasing decisions for materials whatsoever. At Vision Miner, we actually specialize in functional high temp chemically resistant plastics and 3D printers. We've got all kinds of data sheets publicly available on our website. If you want to go check them out, there should be a link in the description. Now, if you want to know more about how a specific material reacts under certain conditions or stresses, feel free to give us a call or an email, and our engineers will happily set you up with a material that works best for you, your application, and your budget. We've also got a ton of videos on each material that we do sell. Those are available on our website and our YouTube and other channels, and we constantly have more coming out. So definitely like this video and subscribe if you've enjoyed it. Uh, also, let us know in the comments below what specific questions you might have, and we'll do our best to answer them in a future video. As always, have a positive rest of your day, and we'll see you on the next video.